And don't get suckered by brands who are using these fear mongering tactics to steer you away from amazing products just to focus more so on their products. Okay, get hit to the game y'all because this has been going on for years. So what's going on welcome to the curly chemistry video i'm so glad you are here in today's video i am talking about toxic hair care products now i've been seeing a lot of videos on tiktok and on instagram about toxic edge controls and toxic products toxic ingredients and i really want to set the record straight from a cosmetic chemist perspective okay you guys not always no time let's go ahead and get started Okay, so first of all, let's just get this out the way. Everything has the ability to be toxic. Everything we come into contact with, every ingredient has the ability to be toxic. Now, what determines the toxicity in our body is the dose. There's an old saying that the dose determines the poison, meaning depending on the amount of that ingredient will determine its effect on our body. Not only that, even water has the ability to be toxic. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Now, what also matters is the entry within our body. Are we rubbing the ingredient or the product on our scalp and our hair, or are we drinking it? So if I'm using a product that has phenoxyethanol within it on my hair or my scalp, that's a lot different if I'm drinking it. So how we utilize, how we interact with that product, with that ingredient, determines, like I said, how toxic it can be to our body. Now the video that I've been seeing online is gaining a lot of traction because it's almost like fear. It's a lot of fear mongering in the natural hair care space. And it's so frustrating because you have these brands that are putting out information that they really don't know what they're talking about. And in this video, they're pointing out different ingredients that are actually very safe for our hair, our scalp and our body. And interesting enough, they even have an ingredient in their formula that is very similar, if not the same exact thing, of the ingredient that they're calling out and saying that's toxic. So that's that. <laughs> now, I also want to point out from a cosmetic chemist perspective, the ingredients that we are using in hair care products are cosmetic grade ingredients. So every ingredient has different grades to it. You have industrial grade ingredients and you have cosmetic grade ingredients, just to name a few. Now, cosmetic grade ingredients have gone through extensive testing to ensure that they are safe for our bodies within a certain percentage. And I'm gonna have resources for you guys to look at below in the description box. So for example, if I'm using phenoxyethanol, which is a very popular preservative in a shampoo or a conditioner, I know that I can't go over 1%. Because after 1%, now it gets a little irritating to the skin or, or to the scalp, you know? But under 1%, we're good, we're safe. So as long as chemists are staying within these percentage, recommended percentage range, the ingredients that we're using are safe to use. Now I'm gonna say something really quick that may not ruffle, that may rustle, excuse me, a lot of feathers out here, but there is more incidence of deaths and cancer tied to the food that you're eating than the products that you're using on your hair or your scalp. So I feel like sometimes we focus so much on this ingredient, this ingredient, this brand, and this, that, 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 but we're not even looking at our plates. We're not even looking at what we're consuming on a daily basis, the amount of sugar, the amount of fast food, the amount of processed food, the amount of chips, the amount of soda. We're not looking at that, but that's really a lot of the causes of the things that we are seeing in our community. Diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, cancer, just to name a few. And I also wanna to touch on the California Prop 65. So basically in California, if a brand is using a ingredient that is in this Prop 65 list, in California, they have to put that label on the product. Now here's the thing, even though they are listing that, you know, like they have that label on the product, doesn't necessarily mean that that product causes cancer. So for example, let's say ingredient X at 65% in a formula shows cancer effects, but the brand is only using ingredient X at 0.02%. So when you compare 0.02%, versus 65%, that's a huge difference. And let's not forget the fact that our body is powerful. Our body has the ability to remove toxins through sweat, through our urine. So our body knows how to regulate these things and get these things out of our system, even if they're in there at a small amount. So I wanted to make this video to kind of give you guys some clarity 
um, hopefully to take away some of this fear mongering that's been going on. And don't get suckered by brands who are using these fear mongering tactics to steer you away from amazing products just to focus more so on their products, okay? Get hit to the game, y'all, because this, this, this has been going on for years, okay? So that's all I gotta say. I hope this has been helpful. Of course, if you are using a product that you don't like, just continue using it, it's okay. Like, just stop using it, you know? But just be mindful of what you guys are seeing on social media because a lot of it is just a lot of misinformation, unfortunately. So once again, I have some great resources for you that I highly recommend when it comes to understanding the ingredients and these testings I've been talking about, these percentages. I have that for you below in the, in the description box. So check that out if you want more information on this topic. You guys know I love you guys so much. Any questions, let me know in the comments. Yeah. This is what we're here for, you know, like, this is what Crowley Chemistry is all about. Setting the record straight because there's a lot of shenanigans going on in the natural hair care space and also the beauty space that has to come to a stop because it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous, okay? Anyway, I love you guys so much. Um, for all the Curly Chemistry resources, ebooks, hair care coaching calls, the hydrating herbal hair tea rinse, you guys know I have all the links below. I love you guys so much. Talk to you guys soon.